Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to be talking about the pgrep and pkill commands, uh, which are useful for finding and terminating processes. Uh, and they're they're both from the same suite, so they both take exactly the same arguments. Uh, so if you do man pgrep or man pkill uh, pgrep, you'll see you know it actually talks about both of them in the same man page, and I believe they actually share exactly the same man page. Um, so. Anyway, what pgrep does is it finds processes and then prints their process IDs. And there's a whole bunch of filters in here. I'm not going to go over all the filters. Uh, we're basically just going to use the boring normal filters today. And we can talk about, you know, there's there's a whole bunch of other options if you need more fine grain filtering. Um, but first off, let me tell you what I used to do when I was doing something. So let's actually start a process that uh, we might want to target. So for instance, I'm going to start my text editor, Babby. Um, so what I used to do is run ps-ef and then grep vabby and then you kind of get, oh, we actually get a bunch of other stuff matching here because my box is named vabby box. Um, but you can see that there's, you know, a bunch of processes here. This is the one that I actually care about, but you'll see there's also a grep process for me trying to find vabby. Um, and pgrep is smart in that it doesn't match itself, which is kind of nice. Uh, but you can also see, like, this is the process ID that I actually care about, 2380. Um, what pgrep does is it makes it a lot easier to find that particular process ID. So you can see pgrep just prints out this process ID. It doesn't match grep at all, so we can ignore that. Oh, I guess I should have done this down here a little bit. There we go. So you can actually see what happened here. Um, <laughs> my face was hiding some of the text fixed anyway. Uh, so yeah, this is the, you know, ID that we want. This is the parent process ID. I believe there's an option in pgrep to output the parent process ID as well if you need that. Um, but this is the one that we actually care about. And the other cool thing is, you know, pgrep is for finding the process, and you might imagine you could do kill uh, pgrep babby, um, but that's, you know, a little bit unnecessary because pkill takes the same arguments as pgrep. So this is going to find any processes called babby and then send them a terminate signal. So you can see that, you know, babby terminated here. You can also change the signal that's that's run here. So if we do... Uh, pkill dash int, which we'll send, uh, I think it's dash int. Yeah, we'll send sig int. So you can see that keyboard interrupt was sent here. That's the signal, or that's the exception that Python raises when it receives control C or sig int. Um, so you can you can customize what is filtered or sent or or, or such there. Uh, but anyway, that's that's pgrep and pkill. I find these super useful. Um, and it's definitely changed my <laughs> my use of, of PS to find things as well. Although I still sometimes do this when um, it's not as easy to find. So anyway, this is much better for scripting now. Because <laughs> otherwise you'd have to do what? Um, yes, EF, grab babby, and then grab dash V, grab, and then grab dash V, uh, this thing, and then awk. Print what two dollar sign two, and then xargs kill. Anyway, this is a little bit more of a mouthful than just using pkill directly. Uh, but anyway, hopefully this was useful. If there are additional things you would like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.